Hi everybody, it's Miranda here doing life and today in my life I am going to be showing you this big box of coffee from Nespresso and it's a big one. So if you want to see what's in my coffee order, stick around. There must be another way, there must be conscience. My coffee order I really actually don't remember how many I ordered it was a bunch and Matthew had just said he's actually sitting like over here because he's gonna get to pick one and we'll make a cup of coffee for you guys but um, I ordered a bunch just because I didn't want to have to order anymore and then I'm glad that I did because I have some things coming up and I won't be able to place an order because I am fixing to not have an address to ship them to. Um, or I don't know what that address will be yet. Uh, we are selling our house and it has a contract on it. So as long as that contract goes through, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm landing when I get to my destination. Okay. So this first box, I j will start off by telling you that I bought a Nespresso Virtuo uh, coffee espresso machine. And so it is the newer line. Uh, and so the pods are different if you have the Virtuo, the newer ones or the original ones. But I did try to order a mix of iced coffee, uh, pods for iced coffee, espresso, double espresso, whichever. All right, so the first one that I'm pulling out is the El Vazio. One thing I do like that it tells you right here how big of a cup of coffee or espresso it makes. And then it also tells you the strength level and I think it goes up to 12, I believe. No, 11, it says it right there. So like this one is a number four. It says, why we love it with a mug of El Vazio. You land on the bright side. It's a lightly roasted blend of South American Arabicas that have a fragrant fruitiness with its juicy acidity and light body. So this is a lighter one. Then Matthew, I think this is the one he said was his. <laughs> It is a Bianco Leggero and it's from their Barista Creations line. And no, is this the one? No, this isn't the one. There's another one in there, I think. It says that it's designed for a sweet harmony of coffee with milk. This carefully selected blend of uh, Kenyan and Indonesian, uh, you'll hear the cat. Arabicas get our very light roast, so when you add milk, it reveals those delicious caramel and sweet biscuit notes. Every time. I was just telling somebody earlier, like, it's quiet in here until I film a video, and then the cat, like, goes nuts. Uh, but this one, yeah, so it tells you to add it with milk for the best flavor. This is an Altizio, and it's a number nine out of 11 espresso. And it's 40 ml. And there are 10 capsules in most of these boxes. Uh, it says, ground, um, 10 caps, capsules uh, and ground roast coffee for the ground roast coffee system but it doesn't tell you oh there it is highly roasted full bodied espresso so this one is an espresso it's made with arabicas from costa rica and south america the hint of central american robusta provides contrast with smooth cereal notes i don't know what cereal notes are but one day we'll find out okay this is this one it Okay, this is the one he wanted, and it is the caramel cookie. 
So we will see if it, he thinks it tastes anything like a caramel cookie, but it starts with a lightly ro roasted Arabicas from Latin America and Africa with a touch of caramel. And it makes a 7.77 fluid ounce. This one is an Ardonio. It is 5.7 fluid ounces. It is a level six out of 11. And it's from the Gourmet Guatemalan Washed Robusta. Round each other off with a mild Gran Longo. So it makes a bigger cup of coffee. The all, Alto Intenso is a number seven out of 11, and it makes 14 fluid ounces. So this one would be like something that you would want in your travel mug. Uh, it says it's a blend of regular and decaffeinated roast and ground coffee. Okay. This one, in the blue box, anything in a blue box is for iced coffee. Get why it's blue. And this was the, an iced fort. It is a Barista Creations coffee. And uh, it tells you on the box, you know, to put it over ice. And let's see, what level is this? This is a 7.77 fluid ounce. And does it say on there? I don't think it says a level. This is a Stormio coffee. It's a level eight. And it's an also 777. It might be decaf. Oh, it's decaf? I don't know. We'll get to this thing in a second. There's two more that I bought. I told you, it's a big, it's a big order. This is a Diabolito. This is, espresso packed with character oak and leather aromas for a punch through the creamy texture of Diabolito's blend of robustas and it's guatemalan and latin america is where this one is from this is a an espresso and it is a nespresso i mean it is an 11 so this might be the only 11 that i ordered i have one more in here this is a double espresso um Quiero and it's a Latin America with woody earthy aromas it says. So I tried to get a good mix of espresso and coffee. One other thing that I do want to mention that I did have them send me, they will send you uh, recyclable bags. You just throw your empty pods in here. It already has their uh, mailing address so you don't have to pay to send them back and they recycle them so that's pretty cool because this was my first order I did get a welcome box and I dropped it uh, <laughs> it says give your capsules a second life it's got this little thing in it oh and it's more bags so I guess I, I didn't have to pay for them so you know and it's on the front here it says the cycle of sustainability so coffee is sustainably grown on AAA farms around the world and packed into aluminum capsules to preserve freshness and then they are fully recyclable 88,000 plus uh, collection points make it easy to send them in for free re um, recycling and then recycled aluminum gets second life as everyday objects and coffee grounds make excellent compost keeping the cycle going 
So you could even compost them yourself, uh, the grounds. So in here, I will show you. I didn't break it when I dropped it, thank goodness. But it has an iced coffee and I got to choose which one I wanted. So I chose the Ice Ligero and it has delicate, fruity, and cereal notes. So there's that. It came with some coasters. This one says Turkish coffee customs after meals in Turkey, full strength black coffee is often served with Turkish candy. Because it's so strong, drinking a second cup isn't always recommended, but we won't tell. And I will tell you a funny story really quick. My granddad had, he does not, he did not drink coffee. And they went to Cuba, when you could go to Cuba, and they, it's customary, like you, they offer you coffee, you drink the coffee. And so it was an espresso, hot espresso shot, and he just threw it back and yeah, not good. All right, my battery's fixing to die. I'm fixing to have to change it, but hopefully I can get to this one. This says the musical, musical coffee farm, Jardin Columbia. In addition to the sounds of chickens, goats, rabbits, and pigs, you'll hear something else everywhere you go on Don Fabio's coffee farm, and that's music. He sets up small speakers across his lush farm so that he and the animals can listen to music together. The reason, as Don Fabio says, I love music, it makes me happy, and if it makes me happy, all my animals should feel the same way listening to it. And then I did get two Grand Longo coffee uh, mugs with handles. So there's one, there's two. These view mugs are designed exclusively for Nespresso by the Swiss studio Atelier. Enjoy the view and taste of signature Nespresso crema as you sip your coffee from these mugs. Good morning. It's a couple days later after I've done the unboxing and I'm going to make you a cup of coffee or actually I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Uh, so a couple of things that I've noticed that I really like about this Nespresso machine is number one, the pods, it does hold a bunch and I love that. And then I just have my bag up and, um, I'll put the, uh, reusable pods in there and then on this side do you guys see that's the water line something that i really like about this is versus the keurig is it will run the water clean out for you all right so the first couple things that i'm gonna do i have my arachino here i am going to i have a little mini fridge down here I have, am keto, low carb, so I'm going to be making my coffee this morning with heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of the heavy whipping cream in there. You guys see in there. And then I'm also... This is not, I know, low carb or <laughs> friendly, but it is some Coffee Mate. There, now you can see better. And it's so dark over here at my bar, I had the lights turned on pretty good. But I am going to throw a little splash of that in there just for some extra flavor. And I have the Torini Vanilla. This one is the sugar-free. So I'm just pouring a little splash of that as well. So then I'll stick my top on here. Something about this Arachino, it can do um, hot or cold and it does both very well. All right, let's 
whip this up and I'm going to go run and get my coffee cup because I forgot it. This uh, coffee cup is one that I unboxed that came in the free welcome gift. Open this up. You can see the pod is just going to go down in there. It might actually be too full. There we go. I'll empty that in just a second into the recycle bag. I keep my little pods in this thing. It's just a little uh, glass jar that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and it's cute sitting on the bar. I'm going to go with the Double Espresso Quiero. Even though I had said I was going to use the cookie one that Matt wanted, it's a couple days later and so I think those got packed. We are moving and that's why this video is, this part of the video is a little late. milk frothing over on the other side. I use up both of my plugs over here for my lamp and the coffee maker so I have to have the arachina on the other side of this bar. I will kind of show you the little setup that I have. This is what I keep my little flavorings in. I did get this. It's supposed to be a wall shelf. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I just stuck that in there. And then, of course, you can see my where I keep the coffee pods right there. There's my milk in the way, and then there's the cat food in the arachino over there. So this is my coffee bar for the second. All right, do you guys see the foam there? That looks really good. And that is a double shot of espresso. I've got my milk that, or heavy cream that has been frothed. Can you guys see in there? Doesn't that look really good? And I'm just gonna pour that on top, let it mix. You can use as little or as much as you want. I like a creamy coffee, especially if it's espresso then I'm just gonna mix those together just a little bit I don't like to disturb all of the foam so I just do a little bit and then of course I take a little bit of a taste I'll add just for some pretty I will add Some of that on there. It's just uh, whipped cream. It's the light one. And a little bit of sauce. Not a lot because I am keto. Alright. There is my coffee for this morning. I'll turn the light down so you can see it a little better. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you want to see more coffee videos, let me know in the description below. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do.